Food safety is at the very top of Wish Farms' Pixie Way fundamentals for a reason. It could be a matter of life and death. We have a sacred obligation to millions of people who depend on us to provide safe produce. Therefore, it is everyone's responsibility to follow all rules and guidelines. This video will highlight GMPs, known as Good Manufacturing Practices, which are things we do to reduce the likelihood of food contamination and keep our environment safe and clean. Personal Hygiene Coming to work well manicured, showered, and with clean clothes is not only respectful to your fellow colleagues, but also good practice to reduce potential contamination. Hand washing is another important line of defense. Hands are a major source of contact between you and food. Wet your hands with hot water, apply soap, rub hands together, scrub hands together for 20 seconds between fingers creating a nice lather, rinse with hot water, dry with a clean paper towel. Hand washing should always occur before touching food products, immediately before starting work, after using the restroom, after eating, drinking, and smoking, immediately before manipulating packing material, after touching the face, hair, nose, or corporal fluids, after touching or picking up garbage, waste, or items from the floor, after all cleaning activities. Remember, using hand sanitizer is not an adequate alternative to hand washing. Hygiene and personal equipment. Your clothing must be kept clean and in good repair. Clothing should not have pockets, buttons, or loose items above the waist like sequins, glitter, or other decorations which could fall into the product line. Keep shoes clean, neat, and in good repair. Closed-toed shoes must be worn at all times. No heels, sandals, or open-toed shoes are allowed in the production areas. Hair nets are required for all employees and visitors in the production area. Caps and hats are not considered effective hair restraints. Hair nets must cover all hair and be replaced if they are soiled or damaged. Beard nets are required for anyone with facial hair. When gloves are worn, they must be in good condition and not reused. Change gloves after changing product to avoid cross-contact and cross-contamination. Personnel practices in the production area. Keeping the environment in a clean condition will help keep our workplace safe. Place all trash in designated bins and clean up spills in a timely manner. Do not allow trash to build up in any areas as it provides conditions for bacteria to grow. No smoking is allowed, that includes e-cigarettes. No eating, drinking, chewing gum or tobacco. Tasting, eating fruit for packing or processing is strictly prohibited. Do not hold toothpicks or similar objects in the mouth while on the job. No personal items. No jewelry, watches, or other accessories except a plain wedding band and a medical alert bracelet. Rings and studs worn in exposed parts of the body, such as ears, nose, and eyebrows, are not allowed. Do not place pencils, pens, or other items behind your ears. No false nails, nail polish, or false eyelashes. Fingernails should be trimmed short. No electronic devices like cell phones or headphones. Food and beverages are all prohibited except for designated break areas. No sitting or standing on product and packaging trays, cases, or pallets. During periods of excessive coughing or sneezing, leave the production area until it ceases. Deep cleaning and cleaning as you go. Be helpful in keeping the facility in a state of good hygiene. Keep restrooms, rest areas, and restroom facilities clean. Dispose of soiled toilet paper in toilet, not in waste baskets. Disease control. It is important that if you are sick, you report to a supervisor prior to work. Germs from ill workers can contaminate the produce and cause food poisoning outbreaks. If you have an injury, illness, or are not feeling well, please report to a supervisor immediately. Employees must report known communicable diseases transmissible by hand-mouth contact or in bodily fluids, i.e. hepatitis A or COVID-19. In case of a burn, small cut, or abrasion, clean, wash, and cover the affected area with an appropriate company-issued Band-Aid. Disposable gloves must be worn to cover the Band-Aid and prevent it from falling onto the production line. Production Practices Any product or material that comes into contact with food must be disposed of as waste. 
no matter how clean it appears to be, there is always risk of contamination. Avoid transferring tools and equipment from one area to another, as they can be a source of cross-contamination. Cleaning and Sanitation Manual Cleaning Cleaning solutions are manually applied and equipment or environment is scrubbed by hand. Remember that all cleaning activities must be documented in cleaning checklists and forms. Cleaning and sanitation are two different activities. Cleaning is the process of removing all physical matter like food or other types of soil from equipment and surfaces. Sanitation is the process of killing harmful germs you can't see. We must keep work areas clean and sanitized at all times. That includes floors, drains, walls, tables, tools, and equipment. Wear appropriate personal protective equipment when handling hazardous products. Eye wash stations are available and maintained ready for use when necessary. Only approved chemicals and cleaning tools should be used. Tools and chemicals should always be stored in a designated area. All chemical products should have a label that clearly identifies the content of the container. It is not acceptable to have containers without a label. Pest control. Pests like rats, mice, roaches, and others carry diseases and are a source of microbial and physical contamination. Doors must remain shut while not in use. Any signs of pest activity should be reported to a supervisor immediately. Thank you for watching this video. We appreciate your attention and we hope that with your help, we can continue to maintain a safe and healthy environment for many years to come.